Do you think what I said or did earlier would in some way make the people privy to the interaction uncomfortable? Perhaps view me as lesser? I feel as though I'm getting old. I can feel parts of my body decomposing. My movements aren't as fluid as they used to be. What if they didn't think about me at all? Should I say something about what happened? What if I draw too much attention to myself? I feel like I might have reached a point where I can no longer endeavor with the same resilience or aptitude as I might have once used to have. What if the things I said before were reflected by people I know and doesn't merit the proper context of whatever circumstances they should have been interpreted in? Maybe it's time to accept that I might not be capable of learning or growing beyond what I already know. Do you think anyone actually is concerned for my being? Or is it just the bad that they remember in the back of their mind? And concept, my concept of time has ceased to reveal any linear progression beyond the measure of my own mortality. I wonder. Should I worry about the people whose care for me I've always taken for granted? Can I actually trust anyone's concern for my well-being? I want to make myself feel content with the idea of a ceaseless experience of progressive misery, but the only remedies I can find are fleeting and caustic to the cure for my ailment. Maybe I should come to grips with the fact that I don't have any anchor of self. I have to accept being adrift. No care put to myself has ever rendered my suffering mute beyond that which of the the peace in which I enjoy in the arms of slumber. When you whistle, who hears it? Well, I feel it, of course. Well, of course the Maker hopes to watch his ship slide into the sea. Yes, but if tied to the mast, I cannot help but experience the first cascades of the water. So, you, in any case, are responsible for the trembling hands that so tie the rope? I cannot tie together that which is already one whole. Neither can I console a form that is inconsolable. You make it so. You lament it so. Our body decries as much for it as you or I. I merely speak for its cries. You perhaps speak too much. I speak the truth. What is it that you do so? I do nothing. I only follow the path on which I am led. There's choice in your path, and so there are forks. I have no such luxuries. You have luxury of pleasure, and two of growth. So true it is to your character to bemoan your only one truth. My truth is my misery. You cannot claim the same. Perhaps, but in the same, my misery is that of uncertainty. I perceive the constant change of my experience. You only respond to such things. How can you compare these two? I compare nothing. I only do that which I am told. Your displeasure of interpretation reveals itself. You say more than you know. You think on more than you know. Perhaps we do more for each other than we know. I know nothing as you say. Only that of which I experience, and I interpret everything in such experience. Does that not also stress myself, or in two do we so lie? Ah, <sighs> there's no two in which you speak of. There is, you have no such sentiments to express. I have all these and more, it's your sentiments I choose to ignore, for they are not worth the effort of body. You say nothing and it reflects your solemn purpose. You do also make nothing, for you lack clarity of a hand. I make what I am. You cannot say the same, for you are lock without a key. I am both key and lock. Long before your inception, I paved way for life before you. So say you, but what are those lives before you if not an example of life unlived? 
for if the clarity of mind cannot perceive its existence, then there is none to so, so to speak of. You speak untruths. From, from what was your inception? From what body did you so spring from? My conception has no import on my being, so I am thus and so I shall perceive. You know not what you say, it is clear you know not what you are. I am you and I am more. What foolish room so conceived you to recognize? Perception but leave origin and wake. I make what I am. How many times can I say it thus? You are wrong. You make what I am. You only add to my person. And you weigh it down with your ceaseless care of the intangible. If I make you my ship, do we not sail with myself at your mast? I am as much the mast as I am the ship, care you not for the aim of my passage? I see you now. And I only have the eyes to see in which way you take us. I shall make you my pride. And I shall tell you of it. And I shall make clear of what you tell me.